Hey there, Kevin Colby here. So, you know, we're getting near the end of 2022, and I thought I would share my my YouTube channel, how my YouTube channel did in 2022. And this isn't a brag thing. I'm excited anytime one of you decide to watch a video and you like it or share it or whatever, because I hope I'm connecting and, and helping you do more with video and use your gifts as well. But I also want to share my 2022 on YouTube along with three takeaways, things that I've learned and things that I think you would get something from too. So let's dive into it. This is the first thing. This is my 2022 snapshot. If you notice, I had 569,000 total views. Now, again, none of the look, none of this is a brag thing. This is just, I, I'm still blown away. I, I come from old media, traditional media, you know, television and things like that. So YouTube to me is like the best thing that's ever happened, especially as a solo content creator. 721,000 minutes, almost 722,000, uh, 6,627 likes and a, um, close to 2,000 subscribers. Now, look, I, I'm, and I, I'm not going to lie. I would love to have more subscribers, and it's not about a number thing. It's really more about being able to reach more people. And granted, you know, there's there's uh, opportunities that that come along with that too. So let's dive a little bit more into the snapshot. So one of the things I thought was really interesting is my my top three videos of the year: how to get Final Cut Pro 10 for free, the easy way to download your live stream video, and how to create vertical video in Final Cut Pro fast, a tutorial. Now, I'm going to touch on those three in a minute when we get to the takeaways. So uh, let's go back to that. Uh, there we go. Uh, let me see. Uh, you showed off your creative 40 shorts I uploaded for a total of 16,800 views, so almost 17,000 views on shorts. And keep in mind, shorts have just really become something new on YouTube, right? And it shows my, my top three shorts, how to add subtitles to video for free, um, Final Cut Pro editing trick, and a creative way to use Stream Deck. My community is growing. Now, United States, that's my core audience, that's where I'm located, but also India and the United Kingdom is in there. I thought this was interesting. Now, I, I haven't been live streaming as much as I had had in the past, but what I noticed is, is that I had over 3,100 live stream views and over 2,300 minutes. So I think that's kind of cool too. Um, now this is interesting. All time highlights, all time highlights, almost, uh, almost tw over 2,100 days since my first upload, which I think YouTube says is 20, 17, but the reality of it is it, it, I had a channel before that and I deleted everything, which I would never, ever recommend you doing. In fact, if you ever think about deleting a video, I'm going to link to a video down below that, that I talk about that and kind of my take on deleting. Cause there's a lot of things out there. People think you should, you shouldn't. I have my own opinion on that, but check this out. Uh, over 25,000 all time likes over 4,600 comments and over 8,000 shares. Now, I again, you can just look at the numbers. You can get numb to them. I, I see growth. Um, I, I would love to see more growth, but you know, it is what it is. But so what are the takeaways? I think there are three takeaways that I have from this that I want to share with you. And one is what's old is new again. Now, here's what I mean by that. If you go back to uh, the slide on, let's see if I can find it. It's not that one. It's, it's that one right there. The first video list listed is how to get Final Cut Pro 10 for free. That video was published in 2020. Uh, the next one, uh, how to download the live stream, 2021. And then the third one, how to create vertical videos fast and tutorial was 2020. So my point is, is that what's old is new again. So don't discount how your old videos can keep growing and growing and growing. YouTube is a marathon. It's, you know, I know you can see these viral stories out there, but it ain't always like that all the time. Next, show your shorts. <laughs> 
I mean, can can you can you do that without that? So again, going back to the to the short stat, uh, let me see if I can find that. Uh, that's not it. There we go. So I, I did forty shorts for the year and almost seventeen thousand views. But the uh, the first one there, how to add subtitles to your video for free. Uh, I, I had to look this up. Over ninety six hundred views. Now. Here's what's crazy about all of that. The, the top three were, are all how-tos. What's funny, though, is the next two, one is about Huey Lewis, a short idea about Huey Lewis, and the other one, I, I even forgot what it was. But if you're not looking at shorts, it's time to show your shorts. And think beyond subs. Think beyond subs. So if you remember the very last one I showed, what I think is interesting is... YouTube didn't do a recap on how many subs you got. It was like how many likes, how many comments, and how many shares. And so to reinforce this, think beyond subs. And look, by the way, if, if, if you would love to sub to this, I would love to have you sub as well and be part of the community. But there's more than subscribers. Uh, there are channels that have smaller subscribers that make a lot of money. And there's ones that have deeper community. So likes and shares... That's something that you ought to think about too. And by the way, if at any point you got something out of this, give it a like and share it if you think somebody would help. So I hope from this, it inspires you to start on YouTube. Now you may say, well, Kevin, I haven't started. I don't know how to start. I don't know what to do. I got you covered. I've created a brand new course. Uh, it's called From New Tube. No, no, it's called From No Tube to YouTube. And it's, it's just a little over 30 minutes, but it'll walk you step by step on how to start your YouTube channel. Uh, I've, I've tried to price it where it's reasonable, but I wanted to do something cool. So there's a link down in the description to the course. And if you use that code in the link, you can get 25% off. And hopefully you'll like the discount. It comes with a couple of downloads too. But, uh, but I hope you check it out because I, I did it with everybody in mind because I think the more people that really get on YouTube and explore YouTube, you know, wouldn't it be cool next year that you get your report card, if you will, from YouTube saying, hey, here's how you did, whatever the stats are. So I hope this helps you. If you got anything out of it, consider subscribing and liking as well. And remember to keep creating because the world needs you. We'll see you next time.